We begin by going to Enterprise Architect's start page where you see a list of recently used models, uh, the ability to open an existing project file, and importantly for this demonstration, to create a new project. You can do that also from the application menu at the top there under New Project. So I click that and I'm prompted to name my modeling project file. My first model will do. Under that, you see a few uh, project types. When you're starting, the only important difference really is that EAPX and FEAP support Unicode data. So we'll choose one of those and click Save. You see that Enterprise Architect creates a new empty project for me. You see it there in the project browser. The next thing is to tell Enterprise Architect what kind of modeling we want to do. And you can set that, your modeling mindset, if you like, from the perspective uh, tool. You've got different categories of modeling, such as UML, uh, business modeling, enterprise architecture, and so on. Let's just create a business model to start with using BPMN. So I click that perspective which opens up the model pattern wizard and that gives me some starter models to choose from. Here's a simple one, the starter process diagram here, uh, a little description and a preview of what that's like. And at, towards the end, some references that you can click on for more information. There are more complicated um, model patterns to get started with. Here's one that shows you um, pools or swim lanes for your business processes. But we're just going to create something really simple to get started. You can see where we're going to put that in the model node, again, there in the project browser. So now we click Create Pattern, and Enterprise Architect puts that into the project browser for us to edit. So we're going to drill down into one of the diagrams there, double-click that, here it is, and now we can make some changes. I'll add a new element using the quick linker, just drag that arrow down, and choose an activity element with a relationship, and we set the type, and then create another one, just to round out our model. And we can also um, rearrange the relationships that were created for us, just dragging across there. And that's a start to our model. Now we can save our work, our diagram particularly, by Save All. And if we just close this project down, you'll see the model file that Enterprise Architect created for us on the desktop, which is where I chose to save this. Going back to Enterprise Architect, you see our model there in the recent documents list, also available on the start page there. In future demonstrations, we'll show you how to do different kinds of edits.